It's uh, great to be back in Burlington, great to be uh, supporting Karina, our extraordinary Minister of Democratic Institutions. Uh, it's always nice to be uh, so warmly welcomed here by Burlington and uh, great opportunity to talk about uh, uh, some of the issues people are facing, whether it's housing affordability, whether it's uh, uh, supporting our seniors and our youth. Uh, we've done a lot, of, uh, a lot of big things that have made a real impact uh, in Burlington and across the country and this is an election year so we're going to keep, uh, keep talking about that. So how do we balance uh, the need for affordable housing with you know, fears of well, I think that's that's a conversation that we have to have on an ongoing basis as a community. I mean, obviously, as a federal government, we want to be there as a partner to municipalities and provinces, but particularly municipalities like Burlington, who are trying to figure out what the right path forward is for them. Uh, a big key part of it is going to be making sure we're listening to local voices, and I'm looking forward to going to see Kelly, uh, who, of course, has been uh, active around her bakery uh, in protecting, uh, protecting small businesses. Those kinds of community voices need to be at the center of what we're doing, but the federal government needs to be there as a partner to make sure that housing affordability and affordable housing are things that we're working on and that's why a 40 billion dollar uh, national housing strategy uh, initiative in the budget that's going to help uh, millennials specifically buy their first homes uh, you know, there are lots of initiatives to build more rental stock where that goes and how we partner with the municipalities is really much more a local conversation that we're just happy uh, to partner with once that's been figured out my question is about tariffs now we know that they were presented in 2018 by the US government and here in Halton we have a huge manufacturing industry um, what is that looking like for those companies and is there plans to remove those tariffs in the future? Well, we've been working very closely with the American administration because uh, the 232 tariffs on steel and aluminum are completely illegitimate and we've pointed this out many, many times. They're based on Canada being a national security threat to the United States, which of course we are not. We are their best uh, partner and ally in just about every way. So uh, we're continuing to work forward on this as we discuss ratification of NAFTA. Uh, we have a lot of allies in the United States, like the Democrats, like a number of Republican members of Congress, like a whole bunch of governors who've said, uh, no, as long as those tariffs are in place, we don't think we should move forward with ratification of NAFTA from even the U.S. side. So we're having important conversations. But in the meantime, we're making sure that we are standing up for Canadian workers. We're there to support steel workers, aluminum workers. We're there to make sure that uh, through safeguards and through uh, other measures, we are actually keeping uh, keeping the, the, the businesses that are relying on this uh, as competitive as they possibly can be.